dead batteries in cameras, dead batteries in phones, dead batteries in lights and strobes and laptops. All of these can be a huge problem on set. What if I told you there was a battery backup out there that could charge all of those things, but also start your car? Hello world, my name is Matt Spa, and I'm a photographer, videographer, and man who likes to be prepared in Atlanta, Georgia. Today's video is about uh, something not too glamorous. It's a little piece of equipment that I found recently. This video is not sponsored. Uh, they didn't send it to me. The links below are not even affiliated. So buy it wherever you want. But if you do, I think you'll be happy you did if you ever find you need it. <laughs> Which brings me to the second point. Being a photographer and videographer requires a basic skill set of understanding cameras and lights and audio and all that kind of stuff. But way beyond that for me, you have to be able to be a problem solver. And you have to solve problems very quickly and you have to solve problems without losing your cool. A huge part of being able to solve problems is having lots of stuff with you with which you can solve those problems. I have a whole bag full of nothing but clamps and tapes and Velcro and uh, stuff like that just in case I ever need it. Today's video review unboxing definitely falls into that category of things you hope you'll never need but are very happy you have them if you do. So it is a small battery backup power bank thing and I found it recently because I was on a motorcycle ride. I pulled up to have lunch. I left my headlight on, went in, enjoyed a delicious lunch, came out, and my battery was dead. So I walked across the street to Napa. I borrowed one of their big 12-volt car jump start things, started my bike, returned it, went on my merry way. But my mind started thinking that it would be super cool if I had a small one of those that I could just throw in the saddlebag on my bike. So that's what started all this. And in my research and looking around, I actually found several options that would do that, but I found a, a special option that would also allow me to charge a wide range of devices. And so that's what we're going to look at today. It is the uh, Gulu Power Bank Jump Start thing. And um, let's go to the unboxing. This is the Gulu Model GP37 Plus Super Safe Jump Starter Power Bank. And according to the box, Gulu will enrich your driving life. If this thing saved me on the side of the road, I would say that my driving life certainly had been enriched. We have a little leatherette type case that uh, looks to be well made. Don't know how long that will stand up over time, but it's nice. Inside the case, we have customer service card, warnings, welcome guide, and jump starter manual, and the main unit. It is sealed for your protection and has a caution band on it that informs you that you do have to fully charge this before use. Full disclosure, I've already opened this and fully charged it. So now when I push the on button, I have one, two, three, four, five LEDs that are uh, showing me the charged status of this unit. It's small, this piece of, it is right at six inches by about one and a quarter by not quite three. So diminutive in size and relatively lightweight. I, I really like this finish. I don't know what it is. It feels kind of rubbery, but it's not overly textured. Uh, very nice. On this end, we have a flashlight that has three modes. You have a constant on, uh, what I would call seizure mode, and finally, a blinking SOS. So you could put this in the rear window of your vehicle uh, if you were broken down on the side of the road to let people know that you did indeed need some help. We also have the input for the cables on the end. And on this side, we have uh, all the other ports. Input is 15 volt, one amp to charge the unit. And then we have three outputs. The first one is 12 volt, 10 amp. We have a USB that's 5 volt, 2.1 amp. And then a smart charge port that is 5 volt, 2.4, or 9 volt, 2 amp. So a nice range of options there on this unit. And I just, I really like the way it feels. What else is in the package? We have the cables. This end, of course, plugs into the unit, and it will warn you if you have the uh, polarity reversed on these. So if you have them on the wrong port, it will give you an indication. There is a boost button on here that I'm not sure what it does, but I will look that up. So these appear to be well made. It's decent cabling. Um, oh, it is attached 
on both jaws. So really nice touch there. Wow, I was not expecting that in a unit like this. So that wire is actually split and is going to both of these copper jaws, not just one or the other. So, wow, nice. We have the AC charger. So this goes into the wall. This goes into the unit to charge it. Uh, something here which I thought was a super cool option. This will actually go into the power accessory port in your vehicle. So if you were to leave town uh, without charging this before you go, and you remembered, you could plug this into your car, take the DC power from your vehicle, charge this battery, and then if your automotive battery or uh, motorcycle, boat, whatever battery died, you could then use this power to put it back into the vehicle and get it started. So pretty awesome. And they also include a USB-A to USB micro cable. So all in all, very nicely packaged. I'm, uh, I'm really impressed with the wiring in these jaws. So let me go find a dead battery and um, we'll see if it'll start something. It's a cold day in the shop and it's the maid's day off, so forgive the mess. I've been putting the Gulu power bank through its paces, and by the way, it's a jump starter power bank. I think I referred to it in earlier segments as a battery backup, and it's not a battery backup, it's a power bank. I've used it to charge little Sony NPFZ 100 batteries that my camera uses. I've used it to charge these larger 970 and 750 batteries that my monitor and lights use. I've used it to charge my iPhone 6S. We had someone come and visit the other day, and when they left, their car battery was weak enough to not start the car, and it started their car on the first try. I'm actually even using it on the camera right now. I have a USB cable going straight into the camera and it's powering my camera because the battery in there died. So in all of those situations, the unit worked perfectly, worked exactly as it should. But this is gonna be the big test. This bike is known for having a particularly weak charging system. It has a three-year-old battery in it and it does not like to start, particularly in cold weather. So let's try it. That battery's dead. So I'm gonna hook up the unit to this battery and we'll see if it starts. Here we have the cables hooked up to the positive and negative terminals on my motorcycle battery. For what it's worth, this is not a how-to video. This is just an unboxing and review. So for proper operation, check the manual. Uh, I'm not responsible for anything you screw up because you watched my video. We have a polarity indicator here that's telling me that I do indeed have the positive on the positive and the negative on the negative. This unit is fully charged and this bike is totally dead. So let's see what happens. Choke on, power on, and... It works! So what's the bottom line for me on the Gulu Jump Starter Power Bank? I think it's awesome. I think having this much power in a package this size that feels this good is just incredible. I bought a second one for my wife, which brings up a point. When I bought hers, it was slightly differently branded. It was still a Gulu, but um, it was like an Elite 800 instead of just the Jump Starter Super Safe, whatever. I'll post the specs at the very end of this video, so if you are shopping for one, you can kind of make sure that you're at least getting something uh, that has similar performance. It's supposed to hold a charge for two years, but um, I imagine that whenever I go on a long trip with this, I probably will throw it in the DC charger whenever I head out, just so that I'm sure I have power. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that in some way it has been helpful or informative. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring my bell, tell two friends, all that good stuff. If you didn't like it, you're certainly welcome to give me a thumbs down, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you didn't like. I want to try to make these as accessible as possible, though I know I'm not going to please everybody. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.